Very simple. If you saw my last video, then you know I went on a little Chicago trip and stayed at the coolest Airbnb I have ever been to. It's a shared Airbnb, which means that there's three bedrooms, one that the host stays in, and two for guests. The Airbnb host is actually an artist, which is one of the coolest aspects of this space. And I decided it was so cool that it needed its very own Chicago Artist Loft Airbnb tour. So when you first enter, there's like two long hallways going this way and then also this way. And just even on first glance, like there's so many cool plants and like knickknacks and so much artwork. There's like this big entryway table that has the coolest little knickknacks, pictures, photos, and there's some really incredible photos above it. I also feel like one thing too important to point out, even just when you're coming in, is all the rugs all over the floor. That's another thing that adds like so much texture and pattern to this like really, really beautiful space. And then as you come down this hallway, it is just like lined with records. Like you could spend so long just looking through all of these records. There is just so many of them. And we don't even know what these are, but these things over here that I'll show you in a second are really cool. So that was a little entranceway door there. And then I showed you guys these stuff. And then to this right is this really great little seating area. It's got this really beautiful plant and this really old camera that's like pointing out. So if you stand just at the right angle, then you can see like the whole city out of the windows. And then this little lounge seating area that Danny's sitting at and a little chair next to it. And there's just so much light. I could talk about the light for every. It's just so bright in here. Cause you've got this window this big window and then down there there's a huge wall of windows that's providing like a lot of light for the whole apartment and this gorgeous case of books it's just like the perfect like clutter aesthetic in my opinion where there's stuff everywhere but every piece is so cool and so well thought out of like little knickknacks music art everything that you could possibly think of and then if we keep coming down this hallway these are the things i was talking about that i don't know what they are but they are incredibly cool if anyone knows what this is definitely let me know they kind of look like a little game like maybe you drop a ball in there and it'd come out the bottom and there's of course more art up here and there's a ton of canvases up here and then if we keep going we're going to come into the kitchen but first this is a, like a little laundry area just here in the corner and even i feel like the laundry is aesthetic it's just like sheets and towels Everything's like so white and open. And there's another little sitting area over here. This little sitting area also has a big window over it where you can see the city outside of it. And every couch is just covered in like patterned pillows, blankets. I feel like everything looks so, so comfy. Before we head into the kitchen, I'm gonna detour and show you guys the bathroom through here. So if you come around this really beautiful tiled corner i'd like to point out and the floor is like really beautiful tile this is the bathroom and for an apartment that is so central in chicago i feel like it is really hard to get a big apartment number one and number two to have an apartment with like a luxury nice big bathroom because you're so short on space in the city but yeah this bathroom is absolutely huge sorry it's a little bit overexposed the lighting is like playing weird in my camera so i just don't want you guys to have to see like a bunch of dark lines but yeah this like gorgeous beautiful shower it is massive and then we got the little sink area hello the bathroom itself isn't super exciting but i just thought it was cool how big it is and even all like the tile details and everything is really nice all right if we come back out the bathroom you guys saw this seating area already, and then we're gonna come into the kitchen. So here's the kitchen. First point out, all the plants. There's some shelves up there, and I think these are pothos plants, and they're just huge. I feel like it takes so long to grow these so long, and they're just hanging literally all the way down to the floor. And again, in the kitchen, like so many cool knickknacks. Like all of this is really cool records and musics. You've got this swan, the lamp, just the details. So yeah, if you come around here past the wall, we've got this really cool cabinet of plates. And again, all the plates are cool. My dream plates and this cabinet is gorgeous. And then we've also got this little mini vine wall in here and the tile. The tile is the best part. I feel like, look at this. Look at this color and it's on the backsplash and on the bottom of the tile. And I feel like that really, really just like makes the kitchen. And again, you've got a light or light, a window up here that's just letting in so much light in here. 
just look at how pretty the light is just like absolutely streaming in and then if we come over here we've got just like spices bottles and all these plants all around them i feel like again it's just what makes this kitchen the light the plants and the tile that's the secret sauce to this beautiful kitchen and if we come back out the kitchen we've just got a little area here of like some more art some counter surfaces some tables little cabinets with lots of very cool knickknacks in it you could just spend so much time exploring the knickknacks look at this magnifying glass the bottles there's like an old trophy in here some photos and along here and then around this corner is the entrance to the host room and the room that we stayed in it's just a normal plain room and it was a mess with all of our stuff everywhere so i didn't show you guys that room but it had these vines framing the entrance to the room which i thought was really cool and then if we go all the way back to the start by the door down there so this is where we started by the door i showed you guys all this side and if we come back over here down this hallway First, again, tables, counters full of knickknacks. We've got this beautiful armchair. All the little intricate details in this is like so cool. Very like New Orleans elements in here. We've got like the exposed brick back here, which is really nice because if you remember down here, everything is just white. Coming in over here with like some darker brick is like a really, really cool mix. And then when we go back over here, it's white again. So it's just this underneath area that has this brick in it. Again, another window, and if you look outside of it, you can see the city and the balcony, which we're going to go on to later. Planting time, it's May, so there's lots of little seeds up here for planting on the balcony. And again, the knickknacks. I feel like I'm just going to be a broken record in this, but I think that's, again, what just really makes the apartment really cool. And then coming in to this little artist loft area, we've got all the plants, some more little knickknacks, mirror lamps and the artist loft it's like a little step up so we've got again cool rugs lots and lots of plants everywhere we've got this little couch area with this really gorgeous painting above it and probably the best spot of this whole area is these absolutely massive windows this space is so so full of light because of these like really really gorgeous windows and this is like the little working artist area. So you've got your table up here where you can do all your work. And we've got like a giant painting up here and then the table where the art happens. Lots of really, really cool materials from like beaded pieces, painting, paintbrushes, pots, and even a painting that's being worked on right here. And then to the left of this artist area is the entrance to the balcony. Da -na 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 -na. And this is the balcony. First of all, I'd like to say it is huge. Who in Chicago gets a balcony this massive? You can't even barely see the end down there. And look at this view. Just a perfect, beautiful view of so many beautiful buildings in Chicago. And you're literally right in the heart of the city. If I didn't already mention it, this Airbnb is located a few blocks off of the Magnificent Mile and right near the river as well. So if you look on either side, you're surrounded in this little cove of skyscrapers, which oddly feels like really homey and nice on this balcony. So if you look to the right, you can see that this wall by the door is just covered in vines, which I absolutely love on this really pretty brick. And it's like that on both sides and all the way around. And then we've just got like some initial pots by the door and same with on the other side. Nothing's been planted yet. They're starting planting soon. So that's why everything's looking a little bit dead and empty. But just imagine this full of flowers in the summer. That would be literally so gorgeous. We've already got some little flowers right there. And then right here is a little seating area. It's a little covered wooden area with five chairs. And I love the pops of red with the black. I think that looks so nice. It rained recently, so there's a little bottle right there. But yeah, and we've got some beginnings of flowers over here as well. And look how many pots there are just covering this whole entire area. If this was all had flowers and blooming, like I said, it would be really, really, really stunning. And then we've got a little step down here, more seating, got a little chair here and a chair there right in the middle of all these pots. And if we come past all these pots and all these nice plants, then we've got the final deck and the last little seating area. Let's go take a look. So this provides you an even better view up here. This is like the literal perfect view of the city from this spot. And then we've got this row of chairs here 
that's perfect for again just looking out at that incredible view and then you go back through the narnia to get inside it's really cold outside so i'm gonna go get warm everything you said we already knew more or less and then again back where we started by the entrance is this staircase upstairs to one of the three bedrooms so if you come up these stairs a guest just left so that's why all the sheets are like this but yeah this is the bedroom with this really cool trunk in front of it and some art behind it and then like looking down from this terrace is the artist loft and then opposite the bed we've got this window over here picking out so you've got the light from over here and from over here shining in and there's two seating areas this little couch right here that's kind of like a little day bed like you could almost have someone sleep there or just lounge there and again, the beautiful exposed brick that we saw underneath. And then this really nice couch. And again, plain gray couch, adding so much color with this blanket on top and the table. And that is everything in this Airbnb. It was so, so cool staying here. And I'm so glad I got to make a little tour for you guys.